Hey everyone, today I'll be talking about the basic principles for keeping ducks out on pasture for laying egg production. So, well, first thing I'll start off is with the cage. So this is the cage I use, what I've been using since I started about 10 months ago. It's a A-frame design, originally built for chickens, but I didn't modify it for the ducks by putting skids and a floor in it. But the basic principle for size per duck, if you're just using it for housing, is one foot, one square foot diameter for per duck. So, well, if you're keeping it in there permanently, you would use different sizes. Anyway. Also, what I did with this cage is they say that some ducks you can get them to lay nest boxes, but some you can't. Unfortunately, with mine, I did get them to lay, so I sectioned off an area in the cage, put shade cloth down and a piece of wood, and so, yeah, they have been happy laying in there ever since, but the trick is I sort of, I started before they laid, I put it in there so they could get used to it, and so that's where they've learned to lay, and they've been laying there ever since. But as you can see there, their egg production is pretty low because we're just at the start of August and it's pretty cold, so it's a bit frosty. And so I'm only getting about 10 eggs a day out of 20 female ducks, but I've got uh, six drakes out here, so I do sell some as fertile. But, but as it goes into spring, I'll get more egg production. You can use other designs of cage like this one I got over here. I've just got some young ducks in here which I'm raising but if you kept them in this sort of situation for laying you'd get dirty eggs and that wouldn't be ideal unless you like cleaning eggs. So I've got a 21 young ducks in here. This is a meat bird cage though but we're not currently got any at the moment so I've been raising these guys in here and yeah, it's been working very well. I just move them every day and they fertilize and do their things. But... But with using this cage when I'm collecting the eggs, it hasn't been very ideal having to crawl in here every morning to get the eggs. So... It's not the ideal situation, but you can't always start off with the ideal. It's easier for me since I'm a bit younger, but if you're a bit older, you wouldn't want to be crawling in here to get eggs and to clean the nests every so often. Because one of the main things with ducks is they're very messy. So they don't keep their nesting area all clean, they don't keep their water clean, they don't keep their food clean. It's just the way they are. Yeah, that's what I got today, so it's 11. It's not bad, considering we're in midwinter. So when it comes to moving the duck cage, I move it a cage length every day when I come out here in the morning and do all their food and water and collect the eggs. And once you come to the end, when it's in the morning, I just leave them locked up, move the fence around there in front of them and then put the fence down just where they're about to enter and open the door and they walk in their new yard. So you don't have them running around the paddock and then have to chase them down. It's just easier to leave them locked in for a bit longer so you can move them. But another thing for protection, for especially pasture poultry operations, is one of the most important is the poultry net. You can get different kinds from different places, but I just use these ones which we got off eBay. They're just the cheap ones, but 
you can get Premier One if you're lucky, or you can just get any other brands you want. But it's just handy for keeping foxes out and keeping them in one area. But it's one of those basic needs if you've got a pasture operation. Probably the next thing I'll talk about is the water situation. Now with ducks, it's just the thing, they like their water dirty. I've heard one guy say he had ducks that it's not worth trying to keep it clean all the time because it's kind of the way they like it is a bit dirty. And with ducks, you for their drinking water, you don't really want them to be able to get in it, but you want them to be able to stick their beak in it, otherwise they, if their whole body can get in it, they'll crap all through it, but if they can just get their beak in, after they've eaten usually, they walk over and they have a drink, they get their food and their drink and they put a bit of dirt in there, but it's better just having dirt than all the crap in there, so try, you got to try and keep your ducks out of your drinking water, but occasionally for a special treat for these guys I fill up a little pond for them to have a bath in to get themselves wet and they love that but yeah I just have a bucket with a hose running down to a old drum which got the hole the sides and cut out of it and a float in it and I just fill that up every day but it's a bit frozen this morning since it's minus one <laughs> filled up but the water line is frozen so the island freeze once it starts to warm up a bit out here but as I was showing you the other younger ducks over here for their water situation we got the basic meat bird water situation just one of those waterers with the bucket on top but yeah. anyway works well it's just best to have some sort of storage area above the cage because the ducks usually drink a lot of water and they waste a lot of water so you always got to have a good amount of water out there so the next thing i'll be talking about is probably the food situation now for these guys, they just have an old meat bird feeder we used, and the food I use for them, you can basically use anything you use for chickens, like this is just a poultry mix from our local feed store, which I get in one ton bulk bag, and yeah, they enjoy it, they eat it, and they do well. But as with content in the food, the kind of stuff which is in here is sunflowers, corn, wheat, oats, lucerne, lupins, and yeah, any sort of grain. Ducks aren't really picky on their food, they just take a mouthful and eat it, so they're pretty happy with it and it's just what I've been using. So for feed storage out in the paddock, I just use an old metal bin which can store two buckets of feed so 26 ducks consume about half a bucket a day but I'm not sure how many that how much weight that is in kilos but yeah so it lasts two buckets last them about four days and yeah it's been working well just to keep the moisture out and anything else and with fencing you're gonna need to have an energizer on it. You can't just have the fence by itself. They're probably the preferred, or well, my preferable brand is either 
Gallagher or Speed Right or any of those and we just use a car battery you hook it up to the fence and it keeps the predators out and the ducks in usually another thing with the cage is I've been using this for about 10 months now and it's just getting a bit of a pain and I'm looking to expand since I got those young ones getting bigger and once they start laying I gotta have an area for them to lay so I built this I call it the duck shore. 8 feet wide, 12 feet long, capable of holding 96 ducks. So, this is what my upgrade looks like. So once I've put it out in the paddock and tried it for a while, I will put an update video on how it's working and if I had to modify it at all. So Justin Rhodes came up with the name for his chicken cage, Chickshaw. So I copied the similar design but renamed it to Duckshaw since I'm going to be putting ducks in it. But I will be putting a video up of the actual construction of it. And so yeah, that'll probably be in my next video. But for this one, I just want to show you what it looked like. And if you want to see the construction side of it, you can go check that out. But I think that pretty much wraps up everything. So yeah, those are just the basic principles you need for keeping ducks down on pasture for egg production. When I was looking for information, it was really difficult to find anything on keeping them for especially egg production. So I just wanted to make a video to help anybody else. But if you're looking to do small scale or large scale, you can. But it's just what I've been doing. And with this cage, you could build something smaller or bigger or a different shape. So yeah, I just took it and modified it. So you can take a design and modify it or you can make your own design. But yeah, there's different options for what you can use. It's not very specific of what you have to use or what you have to do for feed, water situation, housing situation. But yeah, it's just the principles, which you need. So yeah, I'll wrap this up just with saying, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. And I'll see you next time.